The idea was Henry's to do a piece based on the Bremontown musicians, only his great flight of imagination was that this story should take place in Central Park in a contemporary setting and that the animals should all go off on a spaceship. And we decided uh, to make sure that the animals had a, a background and a reason for wanting to get away from Central Park. So we have a dog who used to be a mailman's dog who's been replaced by a scooter, a cat who used to be a mouse catcher in an apartment building and has been replaced by an exterminating service, and a donkey who used to be the mascot for the Democratic Party who's been replaced by a mechanical mule. And because of this unhappiness and displacement, they want to get away from the earth where they've been badly treated. And as they fall asleep, in Central Park, a spaceship comes down, and on that spaceship is this beautiful starbird caught in a trap. And the robots come into the spaceship that operate the ship, and before the animals can escape, they go off into outer space. And then, suddenly, the animals are told by Starbird that outer space is a terrible place to be. It's cold, it's dark, it's mechanical, uh, there'll be slaves out there. So uh, they try to escape. And it's because of each one of their qualities, the strength of the mule, the affection of the dog, the charm of the dog, and the agility of the cat, that they're able to conquer the spacemen. And it's because of the starboard that they ultimately are returned to Earth, learning that they need to be dependent on one another to survive. I think I wanted to, to write uh, music to a story that was very imaginative, and that would give me a lot of opportunity to express different characterizations in the music. And this story seemed to me to have all of that. So I had a chance to write a different kind of music for the dog and the mule and the cat. And Kate gave me such strong characterizations that it was easy to make them all different. So I, I found exactly the story that I thought, not being a librettist and not having the kind of imagination that can continue. I mean, I can come up with a wild idea and say, wouldn't it be great if somebody could realize this? And then the question is to find a, a Kate Pogue to be able to put that into words and, and make it happen. Uh, so hopefully it's a piece for Joe. Come back, come back, now where did 
out. Come on, little baby. Come and play with me. You watch him for a while. Come and play with nice kitty. Switch your tail, not so they'll notice. Come on. Then, when the moment's right, you pounce. Oh! <laughs> Mice, you're gone. Ha! Do you know what replaced me? Yes. Let me see. Darling, you'll never guess what they found to take my place. What? An extermination service. Can you do them sprays? Now the mice don't have a prayer. All the fun is gone away. And 
bring activity. Uh, they are coming on the night. Hey, 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 hey
I 
I don't. I don't. Thank you. It's obvious a fool would know. Then tell us. I search for the silver wire, the connection to the voice and the robot. I search for a while till I found it. I did it all by myself. I pulled the wire to unplug the robot. So the voice of our daughter. She was smart. She, she was smart. She was quick. She, she was quiet. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank we thank you, too. If you left it to me, we'd all be in our cages. I'm just a broken down on you. That's true. I'm not just strong. That can be a few. Grateful. There you go again, gushing at every little thing, just like a dog. Ah, but you need a tool, tool cat. With his winning ways, he charmed the spacemen. With his love and affection, he gave us time. Ah, uh -huh. I helped out too. I helped out too. I helped out too. Helped out too. With my love and affection, he gave us time.
you to be our friend, Cat. Oh, we like you just the way you are. It is too late. You must now go on to Arturos. Too late. Here, Cat, take my paw. Oh, take my hoof. We'll face it together. We'll it Oh, <laughs> 
Yay! Let's give him a big bravissimo! Whoa!